I'm just going to go ahead and read the reversals first. Friendship is essential to the soul. So somebody could have been like a fair weather friend. Somebody could have been pretending to be someone's friend. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. This is in the reverse. This is somebody who could have wanted to copy you, mimic you, um, you know, what you do, your style, um, your relationship, your life, you know, take it how it resonates to your personal situation. But this is somebody who pretended to be your friend. Show me the money because they wanted money. So this could have been somebody who tried to copy or imitate what you do for work or as a way to make money or take some sort of resources from you. They could have been trying to do what you do, compete with you, um, where you're in your life's calling and this person would not be. They're in the reverse, so they're shady. They're just doing something for money or resources. And then I have you talking to me. After all, tomorrow is another day. And I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. So somebody could want to talk to you. Somebody could be reaching out, communicating to you in some sort of way. They um, they want to reach out. Um, this could be literally tomorrow or somebody just feels like they have a second chance or deserve a second chance or want a second chance with tomorrow is another day. Somebody feels like there's an opportunity for possibly a clean slate or a new start. And I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. So somebody knows that you may need something. You may be in need of some sort of resource or something like that. Or maybe somebody thinks that you're desperate for a relationship or that you want a relationship. Someone's going to come towards you and make you an offer regarding something that they feel you need or that you actually do need. And they feel like this is going to give them a second chance at something, possibly a friendship, um, but I'm questioning their motives because they tried to copy you, imitate you, do something to take money from you, or make money off of you in the past, so I feel like this person may not be the most trustworthy person, but somebody wants to offer you some flowers, but then we have spider here, so this could be a sticky situation where someone's trying to get you caught up in a web, there's, there's a masculine energy, someone could be, you know, very masculine, dominant, I'm getting like alpha male, alpha female kind of energy. Um, somebody who likes to dominate or be in control. Um, somebody's trying to play something by ear or someone's trying to play you like a piano and they want to come towards you. Possibly because they see you moving on to calmer waters here. Um, somebody could be celebrating. They could see you going like through an ascension, ascending or celebrating. There could be a cause for celebration. Someone's trying to make some noise. They're trying to dive deep, trying to get some sort of information, possibly on how to contact you or what you need. So somebody could have been dirt digging or fact checking or fact finding, trying to look into what you have or what you may need. And someone is passionate. They could find out that you're passionate about what you do. Uh, possibly that's why you're so successful at doing something is because you're passionate about it. You were called to do it. You know, you're working on building a legacy. Somebody was left alone, you know, chair in the reverse. So somebody could have been left in hermit mode or somebody could have been in isolation um, and they were spinning their tail. Somebody could have thought maybe if they left you in isolation, you'd be spinning your tail, making yourself dizzy, um, you know, and dog chasing his tail is, is the last word on there. Um, so somebody didn't, you know, get a hole in one. Somebody thought that um, leaving another person alone in isolation would benefit them in some sort of way. Um, you could have ghosted somebody because they were talking a lot of turkey. You could have, you could have told them to go fly a kite here. Um, so maybe this person was like a fair weather friend kind of thing. Uh, maybe you realize this person wasn't really your friend. They were just using you. And this could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a friend. It could be a relative. It could be, you know, somebody that you were in a relationship with. Let's get in here and see what else we can figure out about the situation. So something is being laid to rest. And this could be with a relative. Sometimes this could be a relative, close friend. But something is being laid to rest. Someone wants to clean up a betrayal. And this has something to do with somebody that you were in a relationship with. So something is being laid to rest. Somebody wants to clean up a betrayal that they caused to you, divine femme or masculine. And there was a partnership here with the two of cups in the reverse. So this is somebody that you were partnered up with or that wanted to partner up with you. But like I said, there's something shady going on here. At least in the past, they were they did something shady to you. There was a betrayal because now somebody wants to clean up a betrayal that they caused. And now someone's in despair. So maybe someone's in despair because 
um, they made such a mess in the past and you're not open to healing something with them. Um, they're, they're, could be in despair over um, realizing what they did to you. You know, like the illusions wearing off. They saw what they did. Um, they could be being hit with guilt or remorse. But somebody is either um, admiring you. So someone could be in despair over admiring you. Something you're doing that's admirable. You could be an admirable person. They could also be in despair that you're not going to accept this bullshit slippery offer because they were not caring and compassionate to you in the past. They didn't offer you your flowers. They were not empathetic or caring to you. Um, there's somebody who has an addiction or obsession. They could be obsessed with you or addicted to you, but the offer that they're making, um, you know, it's a slippery offer. Um, they could be addicted to your energy. They could have some sort of addiction or obsession. Somebody couldn't stop thinking about money or finances or resources, so they were not caring and compassionate to you. All they cared about was making money or something like that. So somebody could have been more focused on work or working on stealing your work to make money. Judgment has been called about somebody's addiction or obsession. They can't really be trusted. So this person is not the most honest or trustworthy person. And they could be in despair because they know that you know about this. That, you know, that could be why you walked away from this person or they walked away from you maybe because, um, you know, the well ran dry and they couldn't get anything else from you. Yeah, someone could have caused a heartbreak. There was a heartbreaking situation and a queen of cups here. So you could be loving, caring, you know, very compassionate, emotionally balanced. And somebody caused you a heartbreak and they know this. They caused an injustice for you. This could be relating to children, a family. This could be a family member. This could be a parent. This could be a transformation. This could be someone that you've known for a long time or since childhood. Um... This could also be somebody that has grown up or that wants to appear like they have grown up and heal something. So somebody could have gone through an ascension, an awakening. Um, somebody could have matured or maybe you expected someone to be mature or at their age and they didn't in the past. But maybe now somebody has um, matured after going through an emotional situation. So there's an empress energy here. There's an empress, a divine femme who has gone through a change or a transformation while going through an emotional situation and you're going to enter a time of rest, well-earned rest, after a sorrowful time, a lot of heartbreak, just a lot of bullshit, honestly. Um, so you've gone through a lot of things. An emotional situation has pushed you or triggered you into going through an ascension, going through a change. You're not the same person that you were. That could be another reason that this person is in despair because they don't know how to approach you they could be scared to approach you, for one, because of what they've done to you in the past. Um, they could legitimately want to help clean up a betrayal or make something right with you. It is a possibility. They could know that they caused an injustice for you. Um, but you're different than who you were when they knew you. You've gone through some transformation in a way that they may not know even who you are anymore. This could be even in the course of like a year, a couple years, something like that. This person could have caused you to be juggling finances because of this injustice that they caused. Um, so something that they did could have caused you some sort of money. Somebody wants to communicate something to you, but there's a barrier standing in their path. There's something that's stopping this communication from happening. You could have them blocked. You could have changed your number. You could have moved. They may not know how to contact you. Um, or some of the barriers standing in their path is everything I literally just said. They don't know how to approach you, possibly. Yeah, somebody didn't have a positive outcome after somebody walked away from a situation and they caused barriers for you. So after this person caused barriers for you, caused a betrayal, caused you heartbreak, they didn't have a positive outcome after they chose to walk away from you and hurt you. But now this person wants to partner up with you with the Two of Cups after you've healed from a heartbreak. So you've healed from a heartbreak um, possibly after they walked away from you or you walked away from them. Um, you've gone through the healing process or somebody has healed here, and this could be them as well. Uh, but someone has healed. You've done a lot of healing, and now somebody wants to partner up with you, and someone wants to try to make this right somehow. 
And once again, anytime somebody betrays you in the past, it's kind of hard to question their motives here. But somebody wants to come towards you with some sort of truth with the King of Swords. This person can come across as um, cold-hearted, unemotional. Um, you know, in the upright, a King of Swords is, you know, logical, they're truthful, they're honest. Somebody may want to be honest with you. With the Queen of Wands, someone who's a natural born leader, caring, compassionate, you know, um, somebody who takes control of their life, somebody who is good in leadership roles, somebody could be in a supervisor position, something like that. Um, but somebody may want to come towards you, Queen of Wands. There could be this King of Swords who wants to come towards this Queen of Wands here. <clears throat> They may want to speak some sort of truth. We'll see. Let's get in here and try to find out what is going on. Whatever this person did, there was a financial imbalance. There was an injustice that was created by this person, and they did betray you. They didn't see you as the treasure that you were. They didn't maybe know that you had, you know, these treasures within you. Maybe that you're a gifted person. And there's an emperor here in the upright. So, I mean, maybe they do want to come back and make things right. But they didn't see what they had in front of them at the time. Somebody's financial stability was affected, and there's barriers putting placed. Um, you know, this person may not be able to come towards you because they could have tried to make you look innocent, or they're guilty of doing something, and they're guilty of not giving you the offer that you were waiting for or that you deserved. They could be feeling really bad or guilty. Some sort of veil has fallen. It's like they're seeing what they've done. Um, the harm they've caused. Like if your life has been an absolute hell, or you've gone through a lot of trouble and turmoil. Um, because of what this person has did, or not only because of what they did, but they could have been a contributing factor. Someone is upset, possibly about not being able to communicate or about some sort of barriers that are in their path. Um, someone's all up in their emotions because they know they fucked up. And they feel like it could be too late to make this right. <clears throat> They could be upset because you have a clean start, a new slate, um, you know, a fresh start, a new beginning, and someone's in their emotions because they want to be a part of this. And the Wheel of Fortune, someone has a decision to make. Um, this could be you, Divine Femme or Masculine, whichever side of this you're following on here. Um, you know, when you're at the Wheel of Fortune, you're faced with a decision that'll take you up higher on the wheel or let you fall. And the Divine Femme could have a new start, you know, luck could be on your side, Div Divine Masculine, you know whichever side of this you're on what could be on your side so somebody didn't get a message or somebody sent a message that closed out a cycle so um somebody could have made some sort of very assholish <laughs> communication to cause an ending to a cycle because someone was not an official person somebody Somebody was a dick, okay? There's no other way around this, whether that it was a man or a woman. Somebody was guilty of doing something. Um, they could have been in communication with somebody else. Whatever communication this was, it closed out a cycle with somebody who was not an official person. There's a situation regarding a house, a home. Somebody could have chose to take the path of hooking up with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um... So there could have been a queen of wands. There could have been somebody in their player energy, someone who is not a leadership in a leadership position. So if you're the divine masculine in this situation, if you're the king of swords in the upright, you were, you chose a hoe, somebody who was not in their calling, somebody who was trying to copy or imitate this queen of wands. If you're on that side of things, uh, because we have the empress in the upright and balance being restored. So you chose the counterfeit, um, masculine you fucked up all right I, I mean i just gotta say it how i say I, how i see it here there was a masculine here that betrayed a queen of wands in the upright with the queen of wands in the reverse and you know the queen of wands in the upright is the empress and you know and the balance has to be restored and so someone has experienced bad luck ever since they walked away from the real deal you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> on the flip side of this um if you're the divine masculine that was dealing with a queen of wands that, um, you know, cheated on you, played you, this person could be coming back 
to um, try to make things right with you and bring balance to a situation after they cheated on you. So this could go two different ways depending on if you're the divine femme masculine and if you're in the upright or not because this is a collective read. You know, it can go a couple different ways, so I have to read it both ways. There's a lot of talk, gossip, meeting. There could be a meeting, people talking about balance being restored for this empress, possibly how to do this. Um, and this could involve a housing situation. So there could be a lot of talk about someone's house, their job, um, you know, their stability, where they live. Um, maybe this empress needs a place to live. There could be a lot of talk about um, somebody being left out in the cold, possibly when you needed someone, they were not there for you. Um, they drained you of resources and then booted you and hooked up with somebody else with the counterfeit, whether this is the man or woman. Um, somebody made a bad decision when they were faced with the Wheel of Fortune and they've been reaping the karmic uh, debt that they've sown because of this, um, like almost instantaneously in this situation. I heard instantaneously. So as soon as somebody made a bad decision and fucked up, it's like almost instantly they started receiving bad luck. <clears throat> and that's because they left someone to fight a lot of battles on their own. Somebody was faced with dealing a lot of shit on their own and they had no one to help them. Um, they were doing this solo. You know what I mean? Um, they didn't come towards the divine femme or masculine with the offer. Um, they traveled towards somebody else and made someone else an offer, you know. They put someone else in a competition and they fucked up and made the wrong choice because they didn't see someone as the treasure they were. They thought somebody else was. And the Wheel of Fortune is, um, you know, in favor of the person who is in the upright here. And, um, you know, they get a new start. They get a clean slate. And this has somebody very emotional and bothered by this. Because now they want to come back and clean this up after they realize they done fucked up. I mean, she... apparently this person <clears throat> needs to screw up before they can make something right. They didn't get the clean slate. They didn't get the clean start, you know, that they had been expecting because they made a bad decision. So this person in the reverse, this karmic, very much so made a bad decision. And they didn't get the clean slate that they had hoped for. Um, and balance has to be restored. They could have maybe been expecting um, this divine femme or masculine to take a fall that they couldn't recover from, possibly not be able to have a clean slate or a new start. Um, they may have thought they've done so much damage, there was so much heartbreak and loss that this person would never recover and they would never move forward, but they did, and this karmic is not able to because of the decision they made. Uh, they don't get a clean slate. Yeah, because someone is a star, and somebody tried to take someone's gifts as if they were their own. They tried to take their gifts, their talents, the Six of Pentacles. They caused a financial imbalance here by trying to take someone's gifts. They were more worried about money than a relationship here. All they cared about was money and finances, and there's a tower moment coming. You know, somebody was hiding their personality, um, you know, whatever they were trying to do. They were hiding what they were doing, and this is bringing a tower moment. You know, events are out of everyone's control, and this is going to be a tower moment that is good for someone who's in the upright, because this person in the upright has been making good decisions. Balance has to be restored. They've remained in the upright here. And so this tower moment is working out in their favor. However, there's a lot of people here um, that is facing uh, karma, literal karma, the debt that they've racked up by hurting somebody intentionally and leaving them to suffer you know <clears throat> someone's walking away so there's someone here walking away and this is the result of the tower moment or this is causing the tower moment Some, someone's just not choosing to mess around someone could have been expecting a second chance or a new beginning and someone's saying fuck you screw you guys i'm going home in the words of cartman someone's like uh, -uh i'm not playing um, and someone is trying to, you know, reminisce, have memories. Somebody wants to celebrate with another person, but they're choosing to walk away. So it's like someone's walking away from whatever memories that they have of this person because they've healed. Um, so someone here, this karmic is having fond memories of someone. They're remembering the good times. Meanwhile, the person in the upright here is remembering the reality of what happened, and they're just like, no, I can't do this again. Like, I'm just walking away. They're just not choosing to deal with this situation. 
And that's why this karmic is not getting the clean slate that they had hoped to get with this divine femme or masculine. You know, because somebody was a liar, the king of swords in the reverse. Somebody was very cold-hearted. They wanted time, money, energy, resources. And that is why they don't get a clean slate, because they were not a good person. But they were expecting this. They were expecting to have a clean slate, a new start, and they're not getting it. <clears throat> So they're showing up as the king of pentacles, you know, this person could want to lavish somebody with gifts or talents, you know, like, oh, look at me, you know, I have all this money saved up. Um, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. I have this money, you need money. Well, <laughs> this mofo caused a financial imbalance for you, left you to suffer, left you on your own to your own devices, um, chose a counterfeit over you. Now this person is trying to trigger your good memories and it's like, oh, but remember all these things I could buy for you. Um, you know, I took care of you. Someone wants to take care of you financially, but the problem is, is they're the king of swords. They're very cold hearted. They're very emotionally detached. They care more about money um then healing and growing now you know somebody went through a change somebody went through a transformation but this person is in despair someone's in despair and i feel like because they hurt you they know they hurt you so i i gotta say that they could legitimately be feeling bad i mean it's possible that they went through a change or transformation but um you know, they could also be in despair because they hurt you so bad that they don't get this new start with you that they thought they were going to get. And, you know, that's kind of how it works sometimes, you know. There are consequences to people's actions, and then when they realize what they've done, it's kind of too late, you know what I mean? So, yeah. For some of you, I feel like... <clears throat> Somebody does feel some deep regret for what they've done. Um, and so somebody would could want to come in and make things right. They could legitimately be in despair. I mean, there there's pain here. There's emotional pain. But it's somebody who runs from their emotions, okay? So unless they've done the healing and the shadow work, there's a possibility we can all change. So I, I don't want to say that this person couldn't have changed. I'm just saying use your brain, use your intuition, proceed with caution. Just be careful. Not everyone is good for you. Someone has, you know, they've, they've started a new path. Someone is on a new journey. This is a transformation. You know, you went from the empress to the high priestess, okay? Um, you've, you've gone through a, a transformation. And if you're a masculine, it's the same thing. You know, there aren't like a lot of men cards in this deck. So you could be a masculine as well. You know, you could have gone from the emperor to, you know, the high priest. Um, somebody did go through a transformation and they have this new start, this new beginning here. You know, you're getting on your path. This could be the masculine who wants to be on their path um, or find their way back to their divine counterpart after a separation because they know they fucked up. Somebody celebrated something too soon, okay? <clears throat> so they celebrated possibly having a victory or, you know, possibly celebrated having a reconciliation. Um, I would like to pull a few more cards on that one before I, I say any more about that. Because I can go a few different ways as well. try to jump to these real quick before I run out of time. Actually, I've just been making them longer lately. So somebody could have tried to shut the door to a mother figure. This could have been involving a child. So somebody that could have children could have suffered because somebody um, was creating blockages, you know, um, the financial imbalance that was created could have been done to like a mother figure or a father figure, you know, take it how it resonates, somebody that had children. And um, somebody had to fight tooth and nail to get through this. You know, they had to maybe take unconventional ways or get creative in how they got through this. Somebody could have lost their children because of this. I mean, somebody suffered. 
heavily because of what happened. Um, they could have been suffering. They could have been going through like a custody battle or a situation. And this person turned their back on them and they were very cold hearted. They were literally an ice king, you know, um, or a hoe. I mean, this person didn't care. Depending on which side of this you fall on. But either way, somebody was very, they just didn't care. They were very selfish. They were very restless. They were in their player energy, whether it was the man or woman, you know, karmic for you in your situation. Um, you know, they took their wand or their WAP energy, gave it to somebody else or their lack of WAP, you know, whatever. But there's a masculine here that wants to come back. I mean, there's a masculine here who wants to be in the upright now. Or at least they want you to see them as someone who's in the upright. It could be them that went through an ascension, you know? I don't know. Maybe somebody wants to give up their player ways now. Maybe they did go through the healing. But there's somebody who's scared. And it could be... Um, a karmic femme energy, you know, the, the woman is scared here. There's a couple here and someone is scared possibly about what this emperor is going to do or a decision they're going to make. They could be making the decision to leave someone out in the cold and go towards their divine feminine. And this makes somebody nervous or scared. Someone is scared or nervous about um, what's going to happen. And this can also be the emperor being scared about being rejected as well. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a couple, but um, it could be uh, a masculine being scared about this partnership and possibly being rejected. Someone is scared of rejection. As they, you know, I feel like as they should be because they did cause harm. There's something that could be very surprising or shocking. This would be a feminine that's going to be shocked or surprised. Possibly about this person reaching out. Um, you know, somebody somebody did some really shady shit. They showed their true colors, you know. Like when you were with them, somebody was just disgusting. You know, they left you trapped. You were bound in a situation. So somebody could have wanted to keep you bound or trapped in the situation. They didn't want you to get a home. Um, they could have got, left you out in the cold, kicked you out of a home. They could have acted like they wanted to partner up with you or you were partnered up with them. They could have acted like they wanted to help you, but they were playing games with you. You know, they left you bewildered out in the cold um, and possibly, you know, maybe you've been homeless or something because of what this person has done or the games that they played. You may have needed them for help and they literally turned their back on you. And so this masculine is kind of confused um, or feminine, take it how it resonates, but someone is confused here um, possibly about what happened or possibly that you're, you're going to reject them. Maybe they're not understanding why they're being rejected. It's like, oh, but, you know, I didn't mean to do all this and I'm different now. I mean, I'm just hearing a lot of excuses for somebody. Someone moved too quickly, so somebody made a decision a very hastily, you know, and impulsive, and they bet on the wrong horse is what I'm hearing. So somebody, somebody really made a bad decision. They chose the wrong person, and you blocked them. I blocked you or you blocked me, taking credit for someone else's work. So they took credit for your work. They tried to steal your work. They tried to copy you, imitate you. This could be the person they chose over you that was copying you, stealing your work. Or this could have been the person you were literally in a relationship with that was trying to steal your work for money. You need to move on. Someone needs to just move on. Because um, they did you uh, really dirty in a certain kind of way. For some of you, this person is going to be confused that you're not going to deal with them, that they actually are going to be rejected. Somebody faked a pregnancy or got pregnant. Um, so this counterfeit, somebody who was copying you, imitating you, could have moved quickly. They could have said they were got, you know, they got pregnant or they intentionally got pregnant to trap this person up. Um, or they could have faked being pregnant, something like that. Somebody wants to give you unexpected help. So somebody could be, uh, this could also be someone being confused. This could also be the counterfeit, the fake <clears throat> person being confused about this being left out in the cold if this is a masculine that is leaving the counterfeit out in the cold they could be 
ghosting them and trying to come towards the divine fem to give them unexpected help. Somebody's really frazzled. Someone's really nervous. You know, I'm seeing this. This is a collective read, so it's going, you know, a few different ways here. Um, for some of you, this masculine really does want to help you. They really do want to come back towards you and not be rejected. They really want to leave this person out in the cold, but they did do a lot of damage to you. And, um, you know, for some of you, this is your ex that did this to you. Um, and so you're choosing not to deal with them and they're frazzled and upset. They're not understanding because they didn't heal themselves. They don't know how to heal themselves. Um, they, they stay trapped in that childhood trauma and they're just not understanding why you're just not accepting their apology and moving on with them. So, you know, it's going a couple different ways. So you have to take it how it applies to your personal situation. <clears throat> You know, someone is finding out that someone is not divine. Someone is truly evil. And this could be that counterfeit here. Um, you know, that hierophant in the reverse. So, you know, if you, I'm going to use this as an example. Say if you're a spiritual person and this other person was spiritual, you're on the light side of things. They ended up with somebody who is like hexing and cursing everybody that walks under the sun. That kind of thing. Somebody really is um, evil. And there's a lot of cards that came out here. So I will just take these and put those back. So somebody created a, a perfect storm and they didn't expect to get caught in the crossfire. Someone got ripped off and they're finding out they had to eat their words, but now they're passionate. Uh, but there wasn't an equal give and take in the past. You know, um, somebody did not equally give you what you gave them. Um, there's a dark and stormy night. Someone is headed into a dark and stormy night. Um, they don't get the clean slate, okay? So someone is headed into something that's not really that great. For all intents and purposes, why did they do this? Um, you know, they were greedy. They were not healed. Um, you healed from a situation, lick your wounds. Someone's going to be left licking their wounds just as you were. Um, somebody wants to jump in with both feet. It's like they've seen you heal from something Somebody has seen another person heal from something and now they want to jump in with them. It's like, wow, you're a strong motherfucker, uh, but you could have lost everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, um, like I said, there's a financial imbalance here for somebody. Someone could be in poverty. Someone could be homeless. Somebody could have left you out in the cold. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, maybe because you needed somebody and they thought you were you were a gold digger using them for something and that wasn't the case because somebody was only thinking about money they're like oh well if you don't have money you're just using me when in fact it was the other person who was obsessed with money and not caring about you or helping you out you can stand on your own two feet whoever this is you just hit you know you may have hit rock bottom you may have hit a rough patch but this person used your financial status at that time against you and only cared about the money they didn't care about loving or caring you, and that's why they chose someone else. Maybe they had a few more extra bucks. The burning question. Somebody was just a dime a dozen. They weren't special. QRS or T. Something significant about February. No one's blank. Somebody did something in the springtime. So somebody with the initials QRS or T. Um, they could have hooked up with somebody in the, in the past spring here. And they're finding out this person is as dull as dishwater. Possibly in February. They could be cutting ties with them. They're you know, not as enlightened or woke as they appear to be. Someone's finding out that they chose somebody who was dark, um, dumb, you know, like just not, not on their level. And they made this decision based on who had the most finances or resources. And now they're stuck realizing they fucked up. And now they're like, oh shit, like this person was the real deal. Um, you know, they can't stand on their own. They weren't just using me and now they want to come back towards you. But, you know, for some of them, that's not a possibility. Some of you are going to say you done fucked up. And some of you are going to see that someone literally did change. Um, yeah, someone spilled the beans about someone barking up the wrong tree. So... Some sort of truth could have been exposed and, you know, somebody was told, hey, dude, you're barking up the wrong tree. So, um, somebody, <laughs> somebody ch chose wrong and, you know, th that's their fault. So this person could want to come towards you 
and tell you that they chose wrong, they were being stubborn, so somebody was being stubborn in a situation, birds of a feather flock together. So they ended up, you know, choosing somebody that did to them possibly what they did to you. They could have chose somebody who cheated on them or they thought was like them. Um, you know, they thought that they were compatible with somebody else based on resources or money and they found out they were barking up the wrong tree and they're trying to keep this a secret because they're stubborn and they ended up in their worst nightmare because they're realizing they screwed up and they don't know how to get out of this. For some, someone's not moving forward. Somebody wants to live under the same roof as another person. Um, a fine kettle of fish here. So there's a group of people here that um, are connected to someone who's living under the, that you lived under the same roof as, or that wants to live under the same roof as you. But there's a group of people here who thought they could steal something from another person, like stealing candy from a baby. You're moving full steam ahead. There's a silver lining for you. You have a positive outcome. At the end of the day, you have boundaries set up and something's going to happen for you in the nick of time. So whichever side you fall on this, something is going to be happening to your benefit here in the near future or in the future here. And it's going to work out. And then I have a Sagittarius here. Somebody was not the real deal, the real McCoy. Someone is just a fair weather friend. Um, so, you know, you have a decision to make. You have a choice to make on whether or not you're going to hear what this person has to say. For some of you, this person did go through a transformation. Um, for some of you, they didn't change, and they're not understanding why you're leaving them out in the cold and not giving them a second chance. A could be significant person, place, or thing. H. Um, that literally spells half, so someone could be laughing in another person's face. Um, G. Someone could be looking haggard or run down or tired. Somebody could be getting called an old hag or something like that. B. Baghdad could be significant. I'm, I'm not sure what that's about, but Baghdad could be significant. R. C. Branches, the candy could be significant as well. Another eye, so someone's being watched. There's a pair of eyes on somebody. Uh, three eyes, so eye is definitely significant. <clears throat> L, I'll do one more. And E. So I have H-A-G-L-B-R-C-E and then three I's, all right? And I'll just get a few numbers here. So I have one, three, one, three. So 13, 13 could be significant. One, one, three, one. Those could be significant, all right? I hope this helps. Have a good day.